Welcome back. Okay, Rotimi is here. How are you? Rotimi. <laughs> Welcome back. It's great to have you on the Welcome. show. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, guys. Yes. Um, compliments of the season. Yeah, wish you the same, mate. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. it's good to have you here joining us. Okay, uh, let's start from the... Okay, now, before we go to the CAF Confederation score, where we're starting from, just a quick one on this amputee football, guys. Uh, well, uh, it's, uh, it's been a good story, uh, especially to us. I mean, towards the end of this year. Uh, we all felt the World Cup was not going to happen at some point. Right. But somehow, uh, within the space of, I think, 10 to 14 days, they were I able to make it right. down to Mexico, even though the traveling arrangement was a bit um, shoddy. But, hey, I think it's been a good story for them. The fact they needed that exposure, they needed that um, recognition, they needed, to, they, they, they needed that, um, how do I put it now, that presence, presence. At, okay. at the world, world stage, stage for them to be relevant. And they've gotten that already. So I think... Going forward, any other tournament uh, yeah. that they want to participate in, yeah. I would easily plug into that because the truth is uh, they're doing well for Nigerian football and um, it's pretty decent. Let's hope that they have a better 2019. Right. You know, and th th that's my hope for the team. That's, it. that's the target. That has to be okay. the target, definitely. Let's move on now. Let's go and talk about uh, football uh, on the continent, the CAF Champions League and the CAF Confederation Cup. Two Nigerian teams are involved uh, on Saturday and Sunday and is. Uh, uh, fantastic news because both uh, teams have made it to the next round of the tournament. Uh, for Rangers, uh, they made it through to the final playoff round, while for um, Lobby Stars, they also made it through to the group stage of the CAF Champions League. Let's start with Rangers International. Uh, they took on USMA uh, on our Algerian side. Uh, it was a 2 0 win, 2 uh, 0 on aggregate as well. Uh, bright Silas uh, on target uh, for the uh, Enugu Rangers, and they're through to the final playoff round. I mean, you should give um, credit to Benga Ogumbote. Uh, okay. The fact that they went away and got a draw, uh, I felt, don't worry, I think he's going to come here and finish the job. Um, that was my belief. I, I didn't I didn't expect Rangers, you know, to blow this one. Mm. And um, they actually they, did prove done that. that. Yeah, they've done that already. Qualifying for the next round before getting to the... Uh, group, group stages stage. of the CAF Confederations Cup. I think it's brilliant. Wow. Uh, it's, uh, it's, I mean, we have our fears. We usually have fears about North African side. Right. Yeah. Uh, yes, maybe this is not the biggest from that region, but the fact that they were able to uh, navigate in over two legs mm. against the USMA, I think it's brilliant uh, stuff for Rangers. Good, I mean, good one for the players and being a good butter. Right. Bright Silas and the guy scoring the two goals are for Rangers are international. And what, yeah, you talked about the fears about. Uh, Playing yeah. against the uh, North African opposition. Yeah. That's well documented. But there was extra fears going into this tournament as well. So with the way the league ended uh, abruptly, and a lot of people, a lot of fans out there wondering what kind of shape uh, these teams will be in going to play against the African opposition. And both sides uh, come out in flying colors. Yeah. Testament to their character. Y yeah, sure. I mean, um, there, there was a time that um, the Egyptian League was on break. Mm. I, th I think for almost um, one, uh, two seasons, and I'll actually played in the Cup Champions League and still went on to win. So, yeah, I mean, but it's as, not as, ideal. As, yeah, as, it's not ideal. But then again, you should praise the character, as you mentioned. Exactly. They've done well. Uh, of course, they need, um, how do I put it, they need games to, to keep fit, to uh, stay uh, match, stay shape, match yeah. LD, stay, yeah. st stay, stay, stay in shape, and all of that. Uh, I think. We will sort that out. Before, before Lobby Star starts to prosecute, the group stage is proper. Right. The league should have resumed by then. And yeah. uh, hopefully Rangers will go through uh, the next round as well and qualify for the group stages. And then on uh, the resumption of the league should also hit their uh, performances um, on the continent. Mm. Just mission resumption of the league. When? Um, I mean, safe to say January 13th, that's okay. what the LMC had come up with. And, and it's going to end some... Not, they didn't say tentatively. It's, it's going to start That's January 13. That's yes. the date they fixed. It's going to end um, sometimes in May. I think the last weekend in May. Yeah, but you just said now, a few seconds ago, that the league should have started. So exactly. that yeah, was that's why I asked. That's why I, I said, I said, should I said, have. No, I said before <laughs> Lobby Stars okay. starts yeah. to play in the group stages of the CAF yes. Champions League, okay. the league should have started. Yeah, when you say should have, is. Yeah, because the group stages is yeah, not going to happen. Yeah, yeah but uh, it's yeah. not happening until it's not happening before I'm January 13th. I'm with you, but you know, yeah, I know you're trying to, and I'm trying to say, I'm trying to clear. Not, the league will have started, not should have. Yeah. Will have started. 
Okay. I would have started. You take, take <laughs> I'll take shoot. <laughs> shoot. Yeah, but <laughs> so well, it's still conditioner, right? Yes, that's, so that's the certain. point I'm that's trying to make. Trying to ask I know. Me if it's mm. going to start on the 13th. But we're hoping it actually the, the date sticks. So January 13th, that's the date that has been yeah, endorsed uh, by it should LNC. Maybe, maybe, maybe the, the, the only um, worry is um, how would they solve the, N the NNL um, Super ATG and all right. of that. But looks like the LNC um, has given the, the, the uh, I mean, I've, Come out with their own statement. 24 teams will play in the league next season. Uh, our bridge league, 12 teams in um, two groups. Mm. And that's what we want. So we're not going to see a 28 team league. We're going to see a 24 team league. Whichever way um, NNL wants Such to yourself. pick the four that will join the 20, no Such problem. I think but it, league starts on the 13th of January. Just pick the winners of each of the four groups. Mm. All right then. So uh, that's we'll it's not leave. that easy. Yeah, yeah we'll <laughs> let leaves. Okay, let's leave CAF Confederations Cup now yes. and CAF Champions League. Talk about uh, Super Eagles. A striker talking about Odion Igalu has been talking about our uh, Super Eagles' uh, performance, you know, qualifying for the nation's cup with a game to spare, and knowing that there's so much pressure. I mean, the last time they went to the nation's cup, they won. That was 2013. Mm -hmm. And right now, they, they've not been to the past ones, and Nigerians also want them to emulate the Super Falcons and also bring the nation's cup. So he says, whatever country is going to host, be it South Africa mm -hmm. or Egypt, the Super Eagles definitely will be ready for the huge task. for the nation's call but we still have one game to go you know so we use that as a prepare preparation game for the nation's cup and like the nff president said he has organized top friendly games for for us to play and i think we need all that to boost our morale before the cup of nations and i think we have a chance because we're one of the youngest team in africa and we're doing well we play together in the world cup and we're going to play together in the nation's cup it's going to be tough but we have what it takes to come out day in flying colors yeah flying colors that's really key if they can well we hope so january 9th that's when a calf will announce the country that will be hosting will it be south africa or egypt or which other country just those two <laughs> no, we'll, we'll, we'll just wait and see what uh calf uh, does in terms of the hosting host a nation uh, for the tournament but i think i was sounding very confident there mm -hmm. you think um, Nigeria not been to the uh, to the Nations Cup in the last two editions, and and boy, it seems to have very very high targets in terms of uh, winning the competition altogether. I mean, it's not out of place. Um, really, it's, it's thoughts are not out of place. Uh, okay. We should we should be in that mix. I mean, just to take uh, just to probably take a detour a, a bit or digress a bit now. Um, Gomaya of Kenya were making mouth against Lobby Stars, and I was wondering when did Kenya start. Please. Making out against Nigeria, we sh we are, we are in that um, top. I mean, if you look at the echelon of African football, yeah. we, are, we are some we are in that mix. So uh, it's not out of place that Ojoni Gala had come out top to say, five. yeah, of course. Yeah. Apart from the rankings, I'm just saying, if you want to mention uh, big footballing nations on the continent, Nigeria is one of them. Right. So mm -hmm. if you are going to a Nations Cup now that that used to be 16, now 24, we should be talking about winning, winning. not talking about. Or we'll try and get to the knockout stages. So oh, yeah. I, I think his thoughts are not out of place. Uh, there's, of course, there'll be more pressure on the team. A lot of African side have uh, stepped up their game. Exactly. And I think if it goes to Egypt, it will be difficult for a West African side to go win it there. So, so you want to insult? Are we not one in Tunisia? That was back in '94. That was, a gold, that that was a golden generation. Then, okay, what we have now is not golden enough. Silver generation now. Oh, uh, <laughs> Okay, thank you, Tyler. Okay. <laughs> I'll step in there for you. Um, yeah. Come on, you guys can do it. Go to Egypt, to Morocco, wherever they want to take the Nations Cup to. Super Eagles of Nigeria, they can really do that. If they can't, then there's a name we actually call them. Maybe that name is going to come back. But I believe no. they can. <laughs> I don't think the name should come back. <laughs> okay, let's talk about another player. I mean, oh, I mean, you know, why he's, he's celebrating. I mean, it's called uh, Six Goals, right? For qualifiers, talking about doing a mm -hmm. right now. And we have another one who is, I mean, running the race to see if he can be fit for the Nations Cup. And talking about uh, Ogeni Onazi, it's not had a good time with Nigerian supporters. I no. mean, the very good supporters, the fans. At the time, he had to delete his Twitter handle because of, you know, everything that was going on and all that. His uh, Instagram uh, page. But right now, he's injured. Will he be fit enough for the Nations Cup? He's running against time. Um, very sad news. Uh, last week, he had a chat with the... Uh, BBC, and he said he was back. He was ready to uh, play in the game against the Chels if he right. gets if he gets Fight a call off and all of that. 
and that he's now getting some games with yeah. traps on sport and all. But unfortunately for him, another injury. I, I don't think, yes, he can be fit for the Nations Cup, but if we go by that yardstick of um, uh, only active players to make it to the national team, I don't think Odoni Gallo will play in the Nations Cup. How long do you think? If, he's, he, if he's out for the season, according, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, if he's out for the season, the season in Europe ends in, in May. May. Wow. Yeah, and Nations the Nations Cup, Cup we year will start sometimes in June. So in I June. don't think um, the Nations Cup will be a feasibility, oh. uh, or will be possible rather. But we'll see. We'll, we'll, but, but we'll might, wait. It might we'll come wait. back I mean, before that time. I mean, it's, it's, it's possible. I mean, we can we can only wish him a, a quick recovery. Yeah, and hopefully, if he gets back around. Say late March or early April, yeah, then he can uh, stake a claim. That would be uh, ahead of schedule. Though. That would be ahead of schedule. Definitely. Because, because, Definitely. because of the seriousness of the injury, yeah. which is uh, the Achilles uh, tendon, it's quite serious. And That's it always might take scary. a while for you to uh, overcome that. We wish uh, um, again, you know, uh, you know <laughs> quick recovery uh, from that serious injury. Hopefully, he can return to playing uh, football as soon as possible. Uh, let's go to the papers quickly now. Start with a uh, sporting son here. Sorry, ball. Sari gives up title hope. Wenger tops Milan shortlist. It's still there. Okay, right? Mm -hmm. uh, LMC mm -hmm. has ruled out the fixtures. So it's going to happen 13. Let's hope so. Uh, okay, what about NNL? Okay. Uh, sporting life is next. Onanzi to miss rest of the season. Still here. Pitch rejection. Bennett Raw faces sack. If, okay, well... <clears throat> You have to read that at uh, Sporting Life. They're the ones who came up with the story. So what do you have from uh, Complete Sports? Complete Sports, uh, a lot of stories on Igalo. Uh, Eagles can make real impacts in 2019 AFCON. Sorry, Chelsea out of EPL race. Onazi, doubtful for AFCON. It'd be a miracle if he makes that tournament. Ronaldo instigated Juve move. That's according to Complete Sports as well. So Pogba can't be bigger than United. That's according to Peter Schmeichel. Uh, Balogun's talking as well, says bring on the Gunners. Eagles defenders shifts focus to Arsenal again. And also fantastic news for Nigerian players in Europe, Kalu, Onyekuru, and Wankeme on target for, for their various clubs. Onyekuru scoring a brace. Good one. Right. Yeah. yeah. Good one. Okay. That's all. We'll leave it up. Thank you so much for watching. I'm to me, thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I agreed one the Club World Cup. I think I'm happy with that. Yo, really? Okay. <laughs> You're not a Real Madrid fan now. What? You're a Real Madrid fan. Uh, I wouldn't disclose that. Because I, I wonder why you're happy Real Madrid. Oh, my United they'll tell you. Know that. <laughs> I do, well, I don't know, but I'm not a fan when I'm on the air. Okay. okay. Yeah. But we know where your heart is. Yeah, special place. Somewhere special in Spain, place. somewhere in England. Okay. Yeah, and so we know where it is. Thank you for coming again. Appreciate <laughs> your time. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Well. Merry Christmas. All right. Thank you for watching. I'm Cecilia Amogbe. I'm Tyus Salam. Enjoy the rest of your day.